everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for stopping by. Today we are going to make some cards and it's going to be super, super easy. It's going to be uh, probably a beginner's card, but it's not only for beginners because it is so beautiful. It's shiny. It's colorful. It's, uh, I just love these. So I have not stick them down yet. I just wanted to show you different options. So this one is in yellow. This one is in green. I mean, the card is in green that matches the stick these are stickers I showed you that last time and I so I told you I was gonna make cards with that that's my first idea and I didn't glue anything down because there are so many options that I'm gonna show you right away so this one is more of course for English people but you will see you will do wonders if you can find these stickers or this kind of sticker that is really nice looking you will make wonders if you don't have or can't find these stickers but you do have um, resin you can make your own just find some images on uh, images on Google, you cut them down, and then you just put your epoxy resin or UV resin on top, and it will look exactly the same. Let me show you from close what it really looks like. Because I didn't show you that last time. So these are the different colors. I'm gonna show you the brightest colors. I like these, whatever, it's exactly the same. So can you see, oops, I'm sorry, can you see the reflection of the light? They're perfectly domed. They are really shiny. I love the colors. So these are the brightest. Here you have other colors there. They're all very different. So you see they're cut in square shapes, but you could do your own in different uh, shapes. You can do circles or triangles. It's very easy to do also by yourself. It's just that if you don't have epoxy or you want, don't want to afford epoxy because it can be expensive, you can just buy stickers like this. It's just to give you some ideas, okay? So let's get started. So I'm going to go back with the brightest color, if you don't mind, and it will show up, I think, even better uh, on the video. So my first idea when I saw these stickers was to fill up completely my card and I'm going to do it right away. So what I've done here, I've cut them down with the backing on because if I leave, uh, lift it up, it's going to stick to my card and it's, it will be more complicated to move around. So this is why I did that. And that's a little tip for you too. So you can decide how you want to arrange them. So once you're happy with it, my idea, my first idea was to do something like this. Very simple. Because here you have a lot of dimension, I didn't want to put my hello raised up. I'm just going to glue it down with uh, with glue. And that's the only thing you will need. Glue, stickers, paper, and dies. And if you don't have dies, you can't print them out. You can print them in color. You can print them with a colored background and just cut a round. You don't have to cut intricate lines. Just cut a uh, plain um, rectangle around and stick it down. So you really don't have to do much. That's perfectly for beginners, but I, not a beginner, but I love this card. So that was my first idea. Now let's change this. You can change it. Still put your hello in the center or maybe something a little bigger if you want and only do maybe three and three like this. This is also very nice. I like the geometry of this one too. It reminds me, um, you know, Mediterranean kind of cities uh, with mosaic. So that's also very nice. There are so many ways you could put them this way too. Let me show you. You could do it this way. You could do it, keep the same um, direction and do it that way if you wanted to. Or I have another idea, and that's what I did on the English video, on the English card, is that you could do something like this. Let me put back this one. I would probably put it down. Okay. And I would put maybe the thank you on top. Thank you, hello, with love. And I think it's just great the way it is as well. You can put more. You can put that back up a little bit more. I'm going to put that one back up too. And I'm going to add some more here. And let's put this one there. 
depending on how you like your cards, if you want them really filled or not, that's really nice. And again, you did use both. I think this is probably a bit too much. Maybe two will be just fine. And saying only two little words like that, maybe. So you see, it is so versatile. You can make tons of these. You can really uh, be very creative. You can add some more little stickers like stars or maybe hearts that you could put down there too. And I just love this kind of craft because it's not expensive. You can find them almost anywhere. You can make your own and you don't need a lot of materials. So I hope you like this video. I'm gonna show you that one again that is now very similar. I'm gonna put these like this and I'm going to put another hello in the center just to show you how it could look. I like something very simple sometimes as well. It seems not really, it seems not much right now here, but in reality, the colors are probably a bit brighter than what you can see on that one. But I wanted to match the color of my background card with the stickers. So please, if you like this video, give me some thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button. I also have a Facebook page where you can go and post your uh, photos of what you have done of your crafts. And if you have any kind of idea, please share them with me. I would be happy if I can make these videos and tutorials for you and share with all of you. This is a huge community that it's about sharing. So thank you so much. I hope you're doing all well in whatever country you are, please, Please take care and see you soon for other videos. Bye-bye.